Hello, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel, guys. So today's video is going to be super interesting because today's video we'll be talking about the Windows 11 Lite. So uh, basically, we all know about Windows 11 uh, after Windows 10 came out, which was kind of a huge craze for the people, and many people were switched to the Windows 10. But now Windows 11 came out, and Windows 11 was awesome. Like it's super polished and all those features which makes Windows 11 unbeatable. But the problem is the Windows 11 have a um, limitation, which means you basically need a minimum requirement for supporting Windows 11 on PC. Like if you um, like the Windows 10 supports on even 2 GB RAM PC, so it's kind of cool. Uh, but the Windows 11 uh, does not support on 2 GB RAM uh, PC or an old PC because the basic requirements for the Windows 11 is that Windows 11 need 4 GB of RAM minimum or they also have the CPU limitations and also you need a TPM which is a trusted platform module on a PC so uh, kind of not all people are able to download Windows 11 on their PC so, so today's video we'll be talking about how can you get uh, the Windows 11 like feel on your PC by installing a Windows 11 Lite version <laughs> getting into the process uh, let me tell about what is this Windows 11 Lite and how it works um, actually Windows 11 is packed with a lot of features like most of the features we don't actually use it like the Windows security system if you have another uh, third-party uh, security system you don't use it and also many software features like Xbox Live means we don't use that in a basic normal like also if you are going to install it on a 2GB RAM PC then you're not going to be playing games on it because 2 GB RAM PC are not meant for gaming so um, you can remove certain features from that OS and make it more light and also this Windows 11 Lite is only 3.5 GB so it's kind of a light version Windows 10 have more size than this Windows 11 Lite which I'm talking about also uh, the basic requirements for this Windows 11 Lite is you only need 256 megabytes of RAM and it will support in any kind of processors which you have right now and also there is no TPM required so this is kind of the best option you can give to install Windows 11 Lite on your PC uh, on your old PC this is kind of the basic and lightweight software that you can actually download and also uh, there is another add-on like is actually Windows so you can kind of do the basic regular work which you do on a low end PC. So, uh, we'll be talking about how you can install this Windows 11 Lite and how Windows 11 Lite performs on a PC in today's video. So, let's get into the process. So, guys, for the process, first you need to come to your laptop or PC and plug in a USB drive which you want to flash this Windows 11 Lite ISO file into, which will be uh, installing from the pen drive or USB drive. So after uh, that, then come to your web browser and you need to find an ISO file for your Windows 11 Lite. Okay, there is, it's very easy to find because you can just type it in the search box and you can find the right ISO file for Windows 11 Lite particularly. And I'll be giving a reference link for you guys in the description. I'm not sure that it's gonna work across the world. So you can just try it out. If you can't, then you can find one on your own. And after coming to the website, you can see this is what uh, I will be giving the reference link to you guys. And just scroll down, you can see all the remote components right here, like the Google apps and all those unnecessary apps that uh, you normally don't use on a line machine. So that all the things are disabled in this thing means remote. Yeah. And you can see all those uh, things which have been removed from the Windows 11 and made it as a light version can see the law of them okay and after coming to the below you can see a download option right here uh, you, you have two options from uTorrent or from direct download and you can download it you can see the size is also 3.20 gigabytes so you can download it and i have already downloaded it so not downloading it again and after that process you need to do one more thing that is you have to download one more thing that is the rufus application Uh, Rufus is kind of a flashing 
software for Windows devices means with all the Windows ISO file is being flashed by this Rofus. It's secure and very safe. You can download the first one right here, which is the Rofus latest version. Just click it on and your download will begin. You can see uh, I've done opening this Rofus and there is no installation required in Rofus. Just open it and use it. That's all. And close all the things. And now you can see, first of all, I have installed the Rofus. Means you don't need to install the Rofus. You can actually uh, just open Rofus from the file. First of all, after coming to the Rofus, you will see such an interface and you can see the first layer itself. It have already detected my USB drive. They plugged into, which is 60 gigabyte USB drive. And you can see uh, the name also. And uh, if you select this one, if you are not able to see, you can just click on the drop down menu and select a particular USB drive. And here you need to come to this select option is right here just click on select and now you have to select where you have installed the iso file for your uh, windows 11 light or which you may be found in arr format you have to extract that thing and you have to make it like this uh you will see get an iso file right here i'll click on this one and click on open and you know you can see and as you can see here the iso file is already been selected and ready for flashing and here you can see you have two options which is windows to go and windows standard installation i uh, i'll let me make this clear okay first windows standard installation means you are kind of installing the windows into your physical hard drive inside a pc which means your all os will be wiped out and you will get a new fresh pc or if you have to make a partition of this thing and windows to go is actually a kind of a on the go os means um, if you select this one, you be directly installing this Windows into your USB drive, and after that, you can just need to plug it in your USB drive and boot from the USB drive directly. Uh, you don't need to go to uh, install a physical drive on your hard drive. Just uh, for now, I'm kind of keeping it in the standard Windows installation for making you guys how it works. And you can see, you can just uh, select the GPT and select as default and you can see this is keep it as default and all those things and now we are basically set to go and now just click on the start button and your flashing will actually begin and you can see a warning that is your all that so that on the usb drive will be destroyed click on okay okay click on you may get some warning things so just click on okay and you can see here deleting the partitions on the usb drive and now the flashing will begin soon it will take some time so you have to be patient enough so guys now the partition has been wiped from the usb drive and you can see creating file system task complete okay so uh, it's gonna flash for some time it will take some time so you have to wait so we'll see you guys after the flashing is completed one eternity later so guys now the flashing has been finished and now we got the usb drive and we are gonna be installing the windows 11 Lite on this pc which is hooked to this cpu right here i'm gonna be plugging the usb drive into the cpu's USB port and just turn it on and when the computer turns on go to the boot option um, normally it is going to be the F12 yeah you can probably imagine how all this CPU is by seeing all these flickers and all these things yeah so now uh, we are going to the BIOS settings and you can see here the boot device and all those things uh we'll be selecting the cruiser blade which is our usb drive for you it may be different so let's click on it and here we come and here we are going to be changing certain options like the windows uh, 7 os um you need to change this to windows 7 or other os and legacy i'll be changing this legacy option to uh the uefi and here you're going to be selecting the 
uh, boot priority to the SanDisk uh, Crucial Blade and the other things are all the same and click on save changes yes and here on the boot override option uh, we are going to be selecting the Crucial Blade and click on ok now to go again to the uh, the boot option and after that you have to we will see that in the UEFI you will only see one option that is the USB drive which the system is installed just click enter on the USB drive and it will normally take some time to boot up uh, this process has been started Now you can see here the setup is starting a uh, page for the windows and install all the windows system you can see such a base and here you will see the difference because this is not the officially launched windows uh, OS because this, this is created by some programmers uh, all over the world and they created this by removing unnecessary things from the windows which run on the background which uses a lot of memory and all those things so that's how this thing works and you can see the page opens here which is like the windows 11 logo and uh, windows and you can see the installation guidance and here we have been selecting the language and the country and the input and just click on next and here you can see all those things like the patterns blah 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 and all those things yeah just click on i agree and click on next and you can see here the device the drive partition all those things here and here you want to select the exact primary memory for this thing now uh, you're selecting the 465 gigabyte and sometimes if you click on this thing because if you have been using any kind of other OS on your system and you have been uh, coming here to click on it it will show that the, the partition is of different format for that you can you just need to format your entire disk which means your data will be lost all your data will be lost just click on that primary device here not showing it I'll be, to, I'll be making a video on how can you fix that error in the next video uh, here just need to click on the partition to the row partition 3 yeah the primary memory and click on next and here you can see the installation has started you can see uh, the copying windows files the normal installation like we do on all the windows and it will take some time after that it will be installed Right here, I'm not installing it on my PC because I already have Windows 10, which is installed on this thing, which I use in daily life for from this PC, like storing data and all those things. So I'm not going to be installing it. This is how it works actually. So that's what you were told in today's video. I hope you guys like this video. If you are not to my channel, a sub to channel will be awesome. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button. Also, if you want to share this video with your friends, you can go and share it out. That's pretty much all in today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, peace out.